Both suspects in the Boston bombings are ethnic Chechens. 26-year-old Tamerlan Cernayev and his 19-year-old brother, Jokar, eventually ended up in the U.S. in the early to mid-2000s after their family moved throughout the Caucasus region, fleeing the violence that erupted in Chechnya in the 1990s. Here's a closer look at the volatile part of the world where they came from. Chechnya is a republic in the southern part of Russia. Its capital is Grozny. After the fall of the Soviet Union, Chechens tried to break away from Russia and form their own state. War flared up in 1994 and again in 1999 as separatists pushed for independence. Fighting over the years has been intense and bloody. The Chechen separatists have used terrorist tactics such as subway bombings and hostage taking. Since 1999, there have been at least 10 Chechen attacks inside Russia that have killed over 800 people, says Georgetown professor Andrew Bennett, a Chechen expert. Russia, for its part, has been accused of treating the situation with a heavy hand. Bombing inside Chechnya has left many buildings in ruins and an estimated tens of thousands dead. Islam has always been part of the Chechen identity. The republic is predominantly Muslim, but in the 1990s some Chechen separatists became wrapped up in the global jihad movement, turning up among militants in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. The radical Islamic movement brought in money, resources, and tactics to the Chechens. They initially at least weren't wild about this idea of global jihad, and it was a distraction from their local struggle. Eventually, with the resources that came with that, and with videos and propaganda and everything else, some of the Chechens did become radicalized. But there's a significant distinction between Chechens who resist Russian rule and the much smaller group that has embraced global jihadi ideology. And Bennett says the Boston terror attacks don't match the kind practiced by the Chechens, who tend to claim responsibility, work in larger groups, and most crucially, operate in their own geographic region. So if there is a link to, the, to any operational link to anybody in Chechnya, and of course we don't know that now, but if there is a link, this would be the first time that the Chechens have done anything outside of Russia. This would be unprecedented. Wall Street Journal reporting indicates that both Boston bombing suspects had spent time between the Caucasus region and the U.S. since they first immigrated to America. And the brother's aunt says the older brother, Tamerlan, was showing signs of stricter religious beliefs. But whether the suspected bombers were driven by an affinity for Chechen separatism or Islamic terrorism is still very much an open question, and authorities are still trying to determine if and when they may have taken a radical turn. In any case, Charles King, who wrote a history of the Caucasus, said in the Wall Street Journal that it's likely the brothers were part of a generation that was influenced by the bloody Caucasus conflicts. Today, Chechnya is quieter. Its current president, Ramzan Kadyrov, has strong ties to the Putin administration and has managed to keep a lid on simmering tensions, often running afoul of human rights in the process. President Kadyrov has stated that any attempt to make a connection between Chechnya and the suspected bombers is unfounded. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Mark Scheffler in New York.